Hi. Today we're what we're reading I Want to Go Home by Karen Kaufman Orloff and David Catro. Dear Alex, Ethan, and Annie, we are so glad you are coming to visit us. You'll love it here. Do you know how to play bridge? It's a card game all of our friends enjoy. When you come, we can play for hours and hours. Can't wait to see you. Love, Grandma Shirley and Grandpa Ralph. P.S. I hope you like broccoli lasagna. Ooh. Dear Mom and Dad, I know you want me to go to Grandma and Grandpa's house while you're in Bora Bora, but here's why I shouldn't. I'll have loads more fun at Stinky's. We're going to play soccer, eat corn dogs, and sleep in the backyard with Lurch every night. What could be better than that? Love, Boy Scout Alex. Dear Alex, your grandparents are really looking forward to having you all come. You can go to Stinky's and Lurch's another time, maybe. Love, Mom and Dad. P.S. Grandma says you can bring... Iggy, as long as he stays in his tank. <clears throat> to mom and dad at Kids Make Us Crazy from Alex at Iguana Boy. Subject, bored at G and G's. Dear mom and dad, I'm happy at Hill's retirement community, but I'm not happy at all. Oh, I'm at Happy Hill's retirement community, but I'm not happy at all. Grandma dresses Annie in girly outfits and treats her like a princess. Ethan found another annoying kid his age to play with. But I am bored. Bored, bored. And did I mention it's raining? I want to go home. Signed, unhappy in Happy Hills. Dear Mom and Dad, you won't believe this, but Grandpa doesn't have real teeth. He takes his fake ones out at night and puts them in a glass. They look like killer jellyfish. When are you coming to pick me up? Love, your nervous child, Alex. P.S. Please come get me. Hurry. Dear Alex, Bora Bora is very far away, so we can't come pick you up, but please try and have fun. Why don't you tell Grandma and Grandpa about your favorite... Excuse me. Excuse me. Things so that they can get to know you better. In the meantime, here's a silly picture to cheer you up. Love, Mom and Dad. Dear mom and dad, you were wrong. I took Iggy out to meet grandma and grandpa because he's my favorite thing. But grandma screamed and Iggy got so scared he ran away. Grandma stayed on top of the picnic table for three hours. We finally found Iggy up a tree. Grandpa says it's a good thing he didn't get eaten by an alligator. They live in swamps, but sometimes visit Happy Hills. I'm going to go for some now. Love, Swamp Boy Alex. Dear Alex, stop, don't look for alligators. Love, worried in Bora Bora. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, this will sound crazy, but grandma and grandpa don't have any video games on their computer or TV. By the way, they only have one TV. So when grandma watches The Young and the Breakfast, grandpa reads us stories about some guy named Peter Rabbit. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in the brains of old people. Love, still bored Alex. P.S. Tomorrow, Grandma's taking us to her square dancing class. I thought people her age didn't have to go to school. Dear Mom and Dad, did you know that when you go square dancing, you actually spin in circles? I spun Annie around so much she flew off my arm. Love, your son who can really dance. Dear Alex, please be careful with your baby sister. She's the only one you've got. Love, your concerned parents. P.S. Tell G&G we'll be home in a few days and to hang in there. Dear mom and dad, we played bingo at the clubhouse today and grandma won. She got $13.52 and gave it all to us to buy ice cream before dinner. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. She said I could keep the change. Love, money bags, Alex. Dear mom and dad, it's raining again. 
but Grandpa borrowed a soccer ball and asked me to show him a few moves around the living room. He said soccer is almost as fun as stickball, whatever that is. And he didn't realize what he was missing all these years. He's like 100 or something. Love, Alex, the greatest soccer coach ever. Dear Mom and Dad, Grandpa let Annie finger paint in the kitchen and she made a huge mess. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Then we all started painting, even Grandpa. Grandma didn't get mad. She painted Grandpa's face. Now he looks just like my Captain Creepy action figure. Sometimes old people really surprise me. Love, Artistic Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, we went to the early bird special at Moe's Diner, and Grandma and Grandpa let us order whatever we wanted. Guess what I had? Corn dogs. Hope you're having good food, too. Love, Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, Grandpa said when he was a little boy, his grandpa read to him that exact rabbit book to him. That's a really old book. And you know what else? He said he had a TV, but there was only five channels, and there weren't even in color. Could that be true? Love, Suspicious Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, me, Grandpa, and Ethan met Grandpa's friends in the parking lot for a stickball game. Grandpa taught us. It's a lot like baseball. You should see Grandpa's hit. The ball almost broke Mr. Fletcher's window. Love, your all-star hitter. Are you sure you want to stay an extra week, Alex? His mom's asking. Yes, I want to stay at Grandma and Grandpa's. Please. His trip turned around. Dear Grandma and Grandpa, thanks for a great two weeks. See you next summer. Love, Alex. Awesome. I hope you guys have a fun summer. Take care.